Oh, on this Friday afternoon, it's Cracker Jack. Get your voices ready. Come on, let's hear you shout. It's Cracker Jack. Welcome to another edition of Cracker Jack! <laughs> oh, we're good and loud tonight. Lovely. Welcome to the television theatre. I'm so excited. Ooh, I could blow up a beach ball. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, I couldn't have said that yesterday. Oh, I felt rough. In fact, I had to go to the doctors. I went in, I said, excuse me, doctor. Have you got anything for a bad strain? He gave me a tea bag with a hole in it. <laughs> Ooh, I could wrestle an action, man. My new my doctor. Oh, he's crazy. Do you know, he was treating a fella for six months for yellow jaundice. Then he found out he was Chinese. <laughs> but you meet some loonies, don't you, in the doctors? I was sat there just like that, and this fella walked in. He said, excuse me, doctor, I keep thinking I'm a bottle of champagne. He said, well, just go and pop behind the screens. <laughs> oh. My new, I think I should have been a doctor, you know, because only this morning I cured a headache, depression, and a pain in the neck, all in one go. I locked Julie and Sarah in the dressing room. <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon. Would you welcome Julie and Sarah? <laughs> Hi, girls. Hi, Hi Julie. Jill. You're looking all keyed up. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid you had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with what? Come on. Locking us in our dressing rooms. As if I would do a thing like oh, that. Okay. No, I suppose not. You wouldn't reach the keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> it, it must have been an accident. What, like your face? <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> no, talking of accidents, did you hear the bionic man fell off his skateboard yesterday? Really? <laughs> he broke his leg in three different places. Oh. Chicago, Boston and New, New York. York. Oh, that's <laughs> Sports. Listen, you've got to get up early in the morning to catch me. Yeah, I always thought you were a little worm. <laughs> right, go on, get off. I'll see you later. Hmm. Those two girls are enough to make anybody ill. Unlike our special guest this week, let's give a nice big warm welcome to Mr. Basil Brush. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful, marvellous. Up two, three, down two, three, up two, three, down two, three, up two, but three, so, down so, two. Just a, what's huh? with all this up two, three, down two, three? Oh, I'm very sorry, Mr. Hotpot. Stu. <laughs> My name's Stu. Oh, I beg your pudding. I'm practicing, you know. Up two, three. Practicing? What for? Idiot of the year. <laughs> Idiot of the year. Certainly not. No. You wouldn't have to practice for that, would you? That's true. <laughs> We don't need two on the show. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Watch it, don't you hit me. Actually, I'm doing me keep fit exercises. What are you keeping fit for? Huh? Well, they're looking for a new James Bond. A new James yes. Bond? Yes. You? Yes. You're joking. You can't be serious. I am serious. <laughs> Please, remember you're talking to Basil Brush. Star of stage, screen, and sandwich boards. <laughs> You'd never make a James Bond in a million years. Huh? I would, though. Why? Look at that. G oh, nasty. <laughs> what do you mean, nasty? You can have warts removed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> don't you hit me. <laughs> Listen, Basil. What? Why don't you put a good word in for me? Huh? I'd be perfect as a James Bond. Oh, all right. But you'll have to prove how fit you are. How do I do that? You see those weights down there? You've yes. got to lift them up. Go on, lift, lift them up. Lift those up. Yes, lift Easy. them up. Easy. Just watch this. Yeah, watch this. Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. Who hasn't been taking his wind carnage today? Excuse me, Basil. What's Wait that? a body. Oh. Have you finished with the glue yet? Just, 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 just. <laughs> what was that about glue? Uh, 
Uh, nothing, nothing. Just keep trying. I'll look after the shoe. <laughs> and now, ladies, excuse me, Stu, Stu, Mrs. Stu, you're in the way. Move aside, would you? You're in the way. Oh, in the way. Sorry. In the way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, a big welcome for our next guest. Will you please welcome the look? Well, I was going to say that. So let's meet our first two contestants, and Julie, this is... This is Geoffrey Tross from Doncaster. Yeah. Ooh. Put it there, Jeff. Doncaster Rovers and all that, eh? Smashing. And, Sarah, this is... This is Trevor Basham from Taunton. Yeah. That's it, Sarah. Give all your friends up there a nice big wave. Welcome all the way from Taunton, where the cider comes from and all that, is it? Yeah? <laughs> right, then, let's decide who's going to go first. So, Trevor, heads or tails? It's tails. So you've got the choice, Jeffrey. First or second? You're going to go first. Excuse us. We're going to find out what's in the box. Right then. Which joker would you like? Orange square. Orange square. Right, Jeffrey. That's yours. As you know, each time you get the orange square token into that tube, we're going to double your points. Right. The bad news is you've only got one minute and fifteen seconds. All your friends are ready. We're ready. Let's find out what's in the box. Off you go. Go on, quick as you can, Jeffrey. In there, get your hand in, push your way in. That's it. Turn your way around. As soon as you get it, straight back to me. Ooh, right, it's worth one point. Can you tell me how many cards are there in a pack of playing cards? 
52, good boy, right into the tube. Off you go, and it's, it's double your points, sign. That's two points for you. Still 56 seconds left. As soon as you've got it, bring it back to me. Right, this time it's worth two points. Could you tell me how many legs has an ant? An ant has six. six. Good boy. Into the tube. Into the right tube. And off your right. Go, 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 go. All the way. Get your hand in that box. Feel your way around. What does that feel like? OK. Back to me right then. What is it worth? It's worth one point. Could you tell me what is a balaclava? It's a hat, right? It's a form of hat. It is a hat. Right, off you go. Good boy. 28 seconds to go. Feel your way around. That's it. If it's not quite there, get in another box. Soon as you can, push your way in. Go on. Go in there somewhere. Feel your way around. As soon as you've got it, straight back to me. Right then, what is it worth this time? It's worth two points. Can you tell me? Name a shellfish that walks sideways. A crab, a crab walks sideways. Good boy. Into the tube. And off you go, Jeffrey. Quick as you can. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> Don't worry, Jeffrey. Leave it right there. Come on, let's have a look at your score. Here we are. Let's have a look. And we see you managed to get a total of nine points. <laughs> right then, Trevor. Look. A brand new set of boxes just for you. Let's decide which joker you're going to have. Um, orange round. The orange circle. Right, Trevor. You've got a better nine points if you can. In one minute and 15 seconds, your pals are ready, we're ready. Don't hang about. Let's find out what's in the box. <laughs> Off you go. Get that left arm in. That's it. Feel your way around as soon as you've got it. As soon as you've got it, bring it straight back to me. Right, it's worth two points. Could you tell me what did Popeye eat to make him strong? Spinach, good boy, into the tube. Off you go! Into that box, feel your way around. What is it worth? It's worth two points. Could you tell me, according to popular belief, what is the moon made of? The moon is supposed to be made of... Cheese! Right, into the tube. Green cheese. Run off you go again. Get your hand in there. You're doing all right. You're still 42 seconds left. What have we got this time? It's worth two points. Could you tell me, how many sides are there on a 50 pence piece? Seven, good boy, yes, there are the seven. Into the tube and off you go again. 29 seconds to go. Feel your way around there, in there somewhere. And straight back to me, what is it worth? It's worth two points. Right then, could you tell me, what does it mean to be in the doghouse? When you're in the doghouse, you're in... Trouble, you're in trouble, you're in disgrace. Right then, off you go. But that never happens to me. Nine seconds left, quick as you can, back to me for three points. Could you tell me, is this true or false? Strawberries grow on plants. True, right, good boy, into the tube. Off you go, hold it. Oh, that was quick. Let's have a look at your score. And we see you managed to get a total of 13 points. So, 13 points. You got nine points, didn't you, Geoffrey? It's more difficult than it looks at home, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to be quick, but don't worry, we've got a load of goodies there. We've got a Cracker Jack pen! <laughs> and there you are. A lovely pair of lips. You've been bitten by a love bug. And we've got albums, we've got annuals, we've got LPs, we've got signed pictures of people like Chaz and Dave. Congratulations. And congratulations to you, Trevor. We're going to see you later on in our celebrity final. But right now, it's time to meet some people who really can show you how to pull a few strings. Can we have a nice, big, warm Cracker Jack? <laughs> Welcome for Lady Abolique.
Yes, it's time to find out once again just what in the box. So let's meet our next two contestants. So Sarah, this is this is Janine Hayward from Chesterfield. Ooh. Big wave to all your friends up there from Chesterfield. Are you looking forward to the game? Ah, yes, smashing right then. And Julie, this is this is Natalie Smallwood from Mile End in London. Yeah! Ooh. A lot of mile enders up there, haven't we? Welcome to the show, darling. Are you looking forward to it? All excited. Ooh, crush a grape. <laughs> right then. Let's find out who's going to go first. So, Janine, heads or tails? Yeah. It's tails. First or second? First. first. Right then. Excuse us because we're going to find out what's in the box. Now then, darling, as you know, first of all, you've got to decide which joke you're going to have. Yellow circle. Right then. The yellow circle's all yours. As I say, you've only one minute and 15 seconds. We're ready, you're ready. Let's find out what's in the box. That's it, straight away in there. Rummage your way around, straight back to me. It's worth two points. Could you tell me how many le letters are there in the alphabet? How many letters in the alphabet? Six, 26, right. Good girl, 26, off you go. That's it, into another box, feel your way around. Ooh. Right then, for three points, could you tell me what type of tree keeps its leaves all the year round? Evergreen. Evergreen, good girl, yes, it is indeed. Off you go. Three more points and still 44 seconds to go. You're doing well. Back to me, it's worth one point this time. Could you tell me what are the three colours on a traffic light? Red, red, amber, green. Yeah, red, red, orange, amber, green. We'll give you that. Off you go, one more point, quick as you can. Feel your way around there, 30 seconds to go. Right then, this time for one more point. Could you tell me just the name of one presenter from Blue Peter? Sarah Green, well, she's just gone, hasn't she? Peter Duncan. Peter Duncan, right, yeah. Peter Duncan, my pal Peter. Off you go. Into the box again, feel your way around. Have you got it? You have. It's worth three points. Could you tell me which insect spreads malaria? No. Don't worry, it's a mosquito, actually, but don't worry. You couldn't quite manage to answer that in time, but let's have a look at your score. And you've done very well indeed, darling, despite not being able to answer the last one. You've got eight points. <laughs> right then, Natalie, brand new set of boxes. Let's decide on your joker. Yellow. Yellow cube. Yellow cube. Who? Red tissue. <laughs> so exciting. Right, double your points time, darling. All right, Natalie, only one minute and 15 seconds, so quick as you can, let's find out what's in the box. Off you go, darling, that's it. Throw that one out of the way. In there, run your way around. Right, then, back to me, it's worth two points. Could you tell me how many wonders of the world are there? Seven, good girl, into the tube, there's seven wonders of the world. And off you go again, that's it, Feel your way around. And straight back to me, oh, it's a messy one. For one point, who in the Bible did David kill with a sling? He slew, David slew. David and Goliath, right, Goliath, good girl, into the tube, off you go again. Right then, could you tell me, name a famous seaside beginning with the letter B, any famous seaside for one point? Seaside. Right, right, right then, right, off you go again, we're doing well. We're covered in chocolate, I think, 28 points to go. Right then, back to me, for, for one point, could you tell me, how many minutes are there in one hour? 60, right, for one point, 60 minutes in an hour. Off you go again, quick as you can. So as you can, darling, bring it back to me, right? It's worth two points. Could you tell me, if you asked for sirloin, what type of meat would you get? Steak. steak. Good girl, you would, you'd get beef, you'd get a steak. Sirloin steak. <laughs> right then, oh! Right, let's have a look at your score. And we see you also managed to get eight points. Right then, ladies, this means we've got a tiebreaker. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you one question and the first person to give me the correct answer goes through to our final, all right? And the question is, what is the part of the horse's bridle which is worn in the mouth? The bit. It's the bit, it is indeed. She just picked you there, darling, didn't she? <laughs> right then, don't worry. Nobody goes away from here empty-handed because... We've got for you your Cracker Jack pen. <laughs> and we've got loads of goodies there, look. 
We've got your love bug, we've got annuals, albums, signed photographs, you've got lots of goodies there. Congratulations, Natalie. You're going to get cleaned up, darling, and we're going to see you later on in our celebrity final. But right now, I'd like you to meet someone who's no stranger to the pop world or the pop charts. Let's have a nice, big, warm welcome for the very lovely Miss Kim Wilde! Yeah! Angels 1-5, May Day, May Day, August Bank Holiday and Pancake Tuesday. Will Coo and Roger and out. Roger and out. Uh, Basil. What? What? What's all that about? That's how pilots talk, don't you know? Pilots? Yes. <laughs> you a pilot? Yeah. You couldn't pilot a milk float. Oh! <laughs> you may scoff, but I've just started my own airline. I'm doing holiday tours all over the world. Hey, why don't you try one? Uh, how much are they? How much have you got? £1.50. For that, I can transport you at lightning speed as far as Shepherd's Bush. <laughs> Shepherd's Bush? We're already here. I said it was quick. That's £1.50 you owe me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to hear a poem? No, I would not like to hear Well, you're poem. going to. Oh. <clears throat> Are you ready? I'm ready. There was an old man from Hockett. <laughs> went up in the <laughs> sky in a rocket. The rocket went bang, his ears went clang, and he found his nose... You can't say that. What? Found his nose in his pocket? <laughs> oh, I see. Listen. Yes? If I was going on holiday, I wouldn't want to go to Shepherd's Bush. I want to go to the Med. You should have gone before you came to the show. <laughs> I'm referring to the Mediterranean. Oh, I beg your pudding. Yeah. I bet you don't even know where it is. Of course I do. I went to Corfu once. You do you know how Corfu got its name? No, and what's more, I don't wish to know. I'm going to tell you. The plumbing was so bad, when anyone went there, the first thing they said was, Cough! Ooh! <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> Listen, 
You know, you know something, Basil? What, what, what? You should go away on holiday. I know. Yeah. I could go to Holland, where the tulips come from. Or Brazil, where the nuts come from. Yeah. You'll regret not using my airline. Well, I... You could travel first class. That way you get a seat in the special section. Where's that? Inside the plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you get the Stu Francis free gift pack. Free gift pack? Yes, God. yes. Is that... That's it, that's Let's it. Have there. a look. Yes. What's it? Yeah. What's this? Ah, that's to stop you being recognised. After all, you are famous, aren't you? Very true. <laughs> yes, that's, uh, that's a good idea, that person. All right, you can take the mask off now. Ah! <laughs> I'll walk off the show. <laughs> promises, promises. Promises, promises. <laughs> What's ah, I see you What's found this? the parachute. Parachute? Parachute, yes. That looks more like a handkerchief. Ah, well, you see, if you catch a cold on the way down, you can use it to blow your nose. <laughs> Actually, I'll do the boom boom, do you mind? Actually, <laughs> what? That reminds me of the Irish parachute. What's an Irish parachute? Opens on impact. <laughs> <laughs> boom boom! I'll do the boom booms if you do that. <laughs> well, what can I do then? I better not say it's a family show. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm going to sing. In that case, I'll join you. Wait! Hey. Oh, oh. Magnificent men in their flying machines They go up to the up up They go duck to the up up They enchant all the ladies And steal all the scenes With their up to the up up And their down to the up up Down! down. Flying around Looping the loop And defying the ground They're all frightfully keen Those magnificent men Those magnificent men Those magnificent men Flying machine. Bum, bum. That's my boy. Whee! It's our celebrity final time. This is the part of the show where our two contestants are joined by two well known personalities. And our first personality this week, Julie, is. A lady of many talents, Lindsay DePaul. Welcome to the show. Love the t shirt. Love the tissue. And our second personality this week, Sarah, is. World champion judo fighter Neil Adams. You're not kissing me, are you? Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> right then, we've got a lot of fun. And this week it happens to be the turn of the young gentleman to go first. So if you'll excuse Please. us for one minute and 15 seconds while we play Take a Letter. Right then, Lindsay. You know the rules, don't you? Yeah, you do indeed. You go first, Trevor, and then it's you, Lindsay. All right. So, you've got one minute, 15 seconds, that's all. So, if you're ready, let's take a letter. Off you go, Trevor, quick as you can. Grab that letter, bring it back to me. We've got the letter I. We have got, we've got a question for you. Could you tell me who lived in Sherwood Forest? Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Right then, Lindsay, off you go, darling. We love that. Straight back to me. What have we got? We've got the letter B for you. We've got a question for you. Yes, who is the lead singer with a group called Police? Sting. Sting. Right, off you go. Quick as you can, Trevor. Grab that letter back to me. What have we got? We've got the letter D. We've got, we've got a question for you. Could you tell me where is Big Ben? London. London, at the Houses of Parliament. We'll give you that right then, Lindsay. Off you go. Back to me. What is it? The letter E. We've got a stunt. We've got a stunt for you, Lindsay. Oh, a can of soup on. Put a can of soup on. Get inside that can of soup. Arms through. Arms through. That's lovely. Right. Off you go. Quick as you can. Grab it back to me. The letter S. What have you got? It's a stunt. S for stunt. Now then, this time. Squirt, squirt, Lindsay. How about you? Oh, no. Oh, it's it. Right, off you go, Lindsay. Cookie jitka. I'll get my own back to me. What have we got this time? We've got the letter R. We have got, we've got a stunt for you, Lindsay. Oh, that's the baby. Oh, that's the baby. What's the baby called? Christopher. Christopher. Give Christopher a good scrub. That oh, that's it. Everybody so gets a bit. Right, off you go, mate. Quick as you can. Oh, what have we got this time? We've got the letter A right at the top. We've got a question for you. In the fairy tale. <laughs> We nearly had a question oh. for you, didn't we? But you've done very well indeed. Let's have a look. You managed to get a total of six points. Well done, sir. That's six points. Well done. Right then, Natalie. Ryan, you've got to try and better six points. Are you ready? We're ready. Let's take a letter. Off you go. Quick as you can. Well, let's go back to me. What have we got? We've got a question for you. Which boot were flamingos used in a game of croquet? Flamingos in. Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Right, off you go. Take a letter. What have we got this time? The letter Z, we have got it. We've got a stunt for you, mate. We've got a stunt for you. Take your top off quick, that's it. 
Put the top up. That's it, and the top. Again the bucket wall, again inside the wall, again the bucket. Up front. Right, right, off you go, we've done it, quick as you can. I was determined to get me all right. What have we got? We've got the letter P, we have got, we've got a question. Where does ravioli come from? Italy. Italy, right off you go. Yeah, that letter straight back to me. What have we got this time? We've got the letter T, we've got, we got a stunt for you. Stunt? Get the biscuit. Oh, have the no. shirt, biscuit, have the shirt with your mouth, quick as you can. Grab that biscuit. He's done it, right off you go. The letter X, back to me. What have we got? We've got a stunt, we've got a stunt for you. Where's the balloons? Where's the balloons? Yeah. That's one. That's one. So one more, one more. What have we got? Right, you right. Quick as you can, mate. We've got the letter O this time. What have we got? We've got, we've got a stunt for you. We've got the other rice crispies. Oh, yes, we're we're going to give you that. Well done, brilliant. Fabulous. And let's have a look. You managed to get a total of six points also. So, then. So, we managed to get six points each, but now's a chance for you to increase your score as we invite you to <laughs> take a chance. Time to take a chance, the part that our celebrities hate. We enjoy it, don't we? Hey, you do indeed. Right then, you decided that orange was going to be your joker colour, didn't you? So, darling, Lindsay, if you sit on the orange seat, I'll sit on the yellow seat, play on your behalf. So let's take a chance. Let's take a chance. Right then, for everyone at home to see, here are the points to be won or the penalties to pay. Right then, Julie, for the points, the question is... Where is the sea of tran tranquility? <laughs> Correct, Lindsay! Oh, Ju, you, you're wrong! Right. <laughs> I knew it! I knew that one! You knew it! So quick! <laughs> so, you managed to get two <laughs> points, Lindsay, <laughs> that we're going to add to your score, Trevor. Now then, you decided, Natalie, that um, yellow was going to be your colour, didn't you? So. The yellow yeah, seat yellow. producer. <laughs> I'm in yellow. the orange one. Let's take a chance. Thank you. It's dressed for the occasion. It's not fair. Right then, once again, for you at home, here are the points to be won or the penalties to pay. <laughs> right then, Sarah, for the points, the question is... The question is... Where is the metatarsal arch? On your foot. Correct, Stu. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's funny, clock the light. <laughs> 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 Thanks a lot, Paul. But despite that, I managed to get one point, Natalie, that we're going to add to your score, darling. So let's have a look at the totals. Let's... Now then, we've seen, Natalie, you've got a grand total of seven points. And Trevor, you've got a grand total of eight points. So it's just about getting to the post there, hasn't it, darling? But don't worry, don't worry. We've got lots of goodies here for you, look. We've got a Cracker Jack pen. And we've got singles. Albums, we've got Ooh, everything there for you. And also, my new record there for you. Ooh, Ooh. I could crush your grape. We've got that for you as well. All right, then. Congratulations, young man. You've won a major prize. What would you like? I'm have a stereo cassette. The stereo cassette player, that's all yours. And also, there's your Cracker Jack pen. There we are. Can you manage that? Ooh. Right, who's a lucky boy? You've got a lot of goodies as well, Natalie, haven't you? Me crush your great record. I'll sign that for you after. Can we give them both a nice big round of applause? Both our competitors. <laughs> right. You look lovely. Can we say thank you to our two celebrities this week, the lovely Lindsay DePaul and the very sporting Neil Adams. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> lovely. Everybody gets a bit. Our thanks also to our special guest this week, Mr. Basil Brush. <laughs> Well, that's just about it for this week. Once again, thank you very much indeed for looking in. From Julie, from Sarah and myself, we'll see you next week with Cracker Jack! <laughs> <laughs>